Okay, so today what we're going to talk about is the graphics window. Up to this point we've been using the text window, but now we're going to use the graphics window. So the graphics window is a lot like the text window, except we can do graphical things, right? So the statements uh, that are used in the graphics window object, we'll talk a little bit about that. The properties of a graphics window, the operations of a graphics window, and their corresponding objects. So, so far we've used the text window to understand the fundamentals of programming using Small Basic. In this lesson, uh, we will discover exciting graphic capabilities that Small Basic offers. And you start with a graphics window, you start with a graphics window that you can display by using uh, the graphics window object. So, some of the properties of the graphics window allow you to display um, colorful shapes and stuff that you want to use. And so if you do that, you can display these uh, uh, a, a graphics window and draw colorful shapes uh, in it if you use the show operation of the graphics window object. So here we have a program where we say graphics window show. Uh, then we give the window a title. Then we give it its height and width dimensions. And then we can assign a background color. You can. Uh, so basically, this is what it would look like. So those five lines of programming will give you a graphics window that looks like that. Um, so those are some of the things you could do, very similar to the text window. But you can also enhance the shapes that you create if you specify certain properties of the graphics window. Um, these properties include the following. You can change the pen color. Um, you can change the pen width or thickness of the pen. You could change the brush color. And so those are going to just have uh, some command lines. You can also uh, position a cursor um, by using the object mouse X. And this, uh, you can find the horizontal position of the mouse. And uh, mouse Y will find the vertical position of the mouse. You can create colorful shapes in your program by using uh, operations and their properties. So we could, if we wanted to, draw a rectangle, draw an ellipse, draw a line. Fill rectangle, uh, get random colors, set pixel, show message, and draw a resize image. And so here we have a program um, that has a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so let's just go through line by line and see what the output would look like when we're done. First line title, that's the title of the window. Second line, the height of the window. Third line is the width of the window. The pen color should be black. The pen width should be three. Um, we're going to draw a rectangle and those are the four corners of the rectangle and then we're going to fill the rectangle now it's a, if you notice that it's the same dimensions uh, and then we're going to use a brush color of green and then we're going to draw an ellipse and fill the ellipse and it's the same dimensions and then we switch our pen color to gold and then we'll draw a line so when I run that program this is what it will look like so notice that the pen color that outlines the objects are black. Notice that the rectangle has been filled, but it was filled with um, a blue color. Um, we didn't really um, talk about that. It wasn't defined earlier, um, so that must be the default color. But then notice that when we went to fill um, the ellipse, we use the brush color of green. So the brush color must be by default like that bluish color. Uh, then at the end, we drew a line, and the dimensions of the line were 10, 200, 250, and 200. So, and we'll talk about those separately in a second here. So when we go to use the different colors, we can arrange the colors. Um, there's a wide range of colors in the graphics window to create colorful shapes. Um, let's look at a few of these basic ones. So aqua, um, cyan, light cyan, pale turquoise, those are all the colors that we can choose from as they are programmed. Here are some more colors. Here are even more colors and even more. So you can choose from a variety of colors including pink, orange, yellow, purple, brown, white, and gray. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about um, what these what the, what these values are, but these values correspond to the mixture of pigments that will give you Indian red. These values correspond to the mixture of colors that will give you light coral. Um, at some point in time, you could just enter those values in as well. 
exploring the graphics window, let's look at an example that explores more properties and operations of the graphics window. So again, um, what we're going to do is we're going to title the graphics window as graphics window. We're going to define the background color as white. The graphics window will have a width of 325, I, I think that's pixels, I'm not quite sure. And then graphics window height is 200. Then we're going to do a 4N4 loop. Uh, so we're going to run this through 15 times. Uh, the graphics pen color, it's get random color. Then the pen width is going to get thicker and thicker. Then we are going to draw a line. Um, and based on the value of I, that changes the uh, placement of the line. And then at the end, we're going to show a message within the graphics window that says, create wonderful designs and shapes in small basic. And then uh, it shows message. So this is, uh, this is what we get as a message. Okay. These are all the different colors that it randomly chose. And then notice that the thickness increased from, and I shouldn't say thickness, that's what I always call it, but it's really the pen width, and then the dimensions of the pen. This example displays a message box which contains text and an OK button uh, and a graphics window which contains the designs like a barcode of random colors. You can display images by using draw image, draw resize image operations of the graphics window object. So let's look at a couple examples of that. Image 1 um, is equal to, and then we have a location on the hard drive of a JPEG file. It wants to, uh, the next line is draw image, so we will take that image and display it. Uh, next, we will find another picture and then we will display that, but this time it says to resize the image. So we're going to make the image fit um, our specifications there. So when we're done, what we've, what we've done is we've taken uh, image number one, which is a sunset uh, image, and we drew the image, and then we resized uh, image number two, which is a winter uh, picture, and we've placed that Strate strategically um, within the graphics window and then we've also resized it. Um, so I can assume that the image 2 is a bigger image and we resized it to fit the dimensions uh, that we defined um, in our uh, program. So to summarize what we're doing uh, basically, we've learned how to show and hide uh, graphics window objects. We've learned to draw shapes and lines in the graphics window. We've learned to display images in the graphics window object. And what we should know is we can explore our creativity by writing a program that displays graphics window, that displays a graphics window and performs the following steps. Displays a graphic window that is 640 pixels tall and 800 pixels wide. Um, shows two shapes that are different colors and are partially uh, overlapping one another. Well, that's an interesting thing to do. And then uh, we're going to show multiple shapes in random colors. And we're going to show a resized image at a suitable location on the screen. And then lastly, we should be able to show a message box that contains a, a message like, have a nice day.